Welcome to the Sizer online tutorial. In this video, we will demonstrate how to add pattern loads and how the software distributes them. First of all, it is important to mention that pattern loads are only available in beam mode for live and snow loads applied uniformly on multi-span beams. For the purpose of this example, the beam designed will have three spans with three meters on each span. The beam has select structural SPF timber with the following dimensions. The pattern loading option can be toggled in the loads input tab when adding a line snow load or live load over a multi-span beam as mentioned earlier. Note that if another load type or load distribution is selected, the pattern loading option will disappear. When selected, Sizer automatically generates all the possible load patterns and designs for the worst case load condition. This means that when you add a full uniform live load to the beam, for example, Sizer will automatically turn on and off the live load on each span and therefore create a permutation of load cases. When live load is simultaneously turned on in all spans, it represents the full uniform load. However, NBC 4.1.5.3 also requires partial loading to be considered, as demonstrated in this image. The pattern loading option is intended to help designers meet the NBC clause. Eventually, Sizer considers all possible loading scenarios and designs the beam for the worst load condition. When toggling this feature for snow loads, the software works similarly to the pattern live loads. The full snow load is applied to any one portion of the beam, and half of this snow load is applied to the remainder portion of the beam, following NBC Clause 4.1.6.3. Similar to pattern live load, Sizer designs the beam for all possible loading conditions. The pattern loading is an important design option to consider, since it will ultimately have an effect on the critical load combinations for the beam design. In fact, let me show you the design results by adding a full uniform live load to our beam while the option is enabled. If we scroll down to the additional data portion in the design results, there is a section that summarizes the critical load combinations for the shear, moment, deflection, bearing, and uplift analysis of our beam. As you may have noticed, in this example, the majority of the critical load combinations involve pattern loading. For pattern live loads, the letter L is displayed to represent the spans to which live load is applied. If no live load is applied to a certain span, an underline is displayed. In our example, since we had three spans, we can see how the live load has been patterned to create the most critical load case for each design criterion. If we take the shear analysis for example, the pattern is L, L, underline. This means that the critical load pattern is 1.25D on the full span of the beam, plus 1.5L only applied to the first two spans when no live load added on the third span, as demonstrated in this image. When pattern loading is applied to snow loads, the spans with the full intensity of the snow load is represented by a capital S, and spans with half of the snow load is portrayed by a lowercase s. It is important to consider pattern loading for multi-span beams, since in some cases, the same load magnitude can cause a beam failure if live or snow load is patterned, while the same beam can pass the design if the load is not patterned.